In Colossians 1, Paul opens his epistle to the saints with the experience of salvation, revealing a positional move. In verse 13, that move is from the authority of darkness into the kingdom of the Son, Christ. Salvation has nothing to do with our effort to overcome or do right in our behavior. To be saved, we simply must be moved. From the moment we are reborn, we are transferred, crossing over from the realm of death and darkness to life through the sun. There is a clear line of demarcation inside of us that we no longer belong to Satan, sin, and the flesh. But some people struggle to change and are never renewed. That's simply because they did not move kingdoms. A believer's change is regeneration, rebirth, river crossing from one kingdom to another. From this point on, our lives have a very clear, very definite line. But if we are always in our own kingdom, we will never experience the true freedom of being delivered and transferred from our kingdom to His. The word kingdom in Greek is a compound word with a root denoting a person walking. This means that just as a man gains territory by how far he walks, when we allow the Lord to walk in us, he gains his domain, his kingdom there. Once we are saved, we are no longer on the throne. Instead, Christ is walking in us. A believer's change is based on this. Who is your king? Our king in us will make sure we know this line exists, for we declared we belong to him, and he is our Lord from this moment on. And as Christ walks in us, he transforms us and gains us as his ground for reigning and expression continually. As he walks in us, his kingdom is incrementally ruling and changing us from within our spirit, spreading outward. Actually, we are his kingdom. This is how believers can really change. In this new domain, we are ever new, ever changing, ever transforming as he gains ground in us. Today, the kingdom of the Son is us living daily under his authority. We are the ground where He reigns. May He expand His kingdom in us through our submission and love to Him. You are listening to highlights of notes of fellowship from the church in Toledo. The full text of this article is available in the link included within this post. If you have enjoyed today's fellowship and would like to hear or read more, please visit us at www.thechurchintoledo.org. We would love to hear from you, dear brothers and sisters, and hope to use this audio format to share more of our daily church life experiences to build the body of Christ with you all.